Okay, so the Compute Module 5 is quite a bit smaller than a Raspberry Pi 5 and they make some quite big boards and they also make some really small boards so these are the nano boards which are pretty much the same size as a Compute Module 5. So what do you call a board that's even smaller? So this, as you can see, looks pretty basic but it does perform one very clever task. To take a Compute Module 5 off a board, I usually use this plastic adapter and just pop it off. It was looser than it normally is. The connectors on the bottom of the Compute Module 5 needs to be perfectly lined up. So this way around, I always line up the holes and then you kind of push them together. And that's it. We now have a Compute Module 5 but with a replaceable interface underneath. So we're not repeatedly plugging in and unplugging these connectors. And I've got quite a lot of boards so I do it on a regular basis. So that would go onto here. And if I wanted to take it off I would prise it from the baseboard so not the actual Compute Module 5 itself. There you go, and that comes off. So a very simple board, but really useful. Now they're probably not going to fit in everything, but I would imagine compatibility would be pretty good. Possibly not the new Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5 laptop that Jeff Gidding tried. And I think he did take it apart, so we might be able to see how much room it looks like there is in there and what it uses for cooling. Yeah, so this is it with the back off. Uh, and it actually has some thermal pads connecting it to whatever the cover is, probably aluminium. So not necessarily for that, but most other things it will definitely be fine for. I guess if you're going to use a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5 laptop, you're probably not going to remove it that often. It looks like the uh, Wi-Fi is soldered on here as well. But this is just an early, well, as it says, pre-production unit at this stage. It's on Kickstarter at the moment. So we scroll down, so interface protection adapter board for Raspberry Pi Compute series. So it supports the Compute Module 4 and 5, and then it says for frequent plugging and unplugging. Supports access to the light, the EMMC series of CM4 and CM5. Prevents damage to the CM4, CM5 socket from frequent physical plugging and unplugging. Suitable for applications that require frequent connections. So I do quite often test out Compute Module 5 boards and and devices and cases and things like that so it's going to be handy for me and you can see it also works with the Luxfox Core 3566 so that must be a rock chip variant and they show it always without without screws I mean the, the connectivity is good I never use screws on my compute module 5s but obviously you can screw in from the top and through both boards if you've got something that's you know maybe it's in a drone or something like that you want it to be very very secure and some close-ups here as I say, very basic because it is just passing on those connections. Now, I did try and find some information. It's funny because I, I tried AR on my iPad and it said that it was suitable for frequent connections, but they don't say how many times. It does say 3,000 mating cycles on here, uh, significantly more durable than the typical 30 cycle rating of the mating connectors on I.O. boards. Uh, according to the Raspberry Pi forums, will it, will it take me to the post? Uh, so here's where it's from. So it's talking about the specific connector, a high rose is rated at 3,000 cycles versus typical 30 cycles. But I always think if you don't get it straight, you would significantly shorten the life of it. And you do kind of push it together firmly to get it to stay on the board. So maybe a machine's doing it and it's going back and forth 3,000 times but perfectly executed. But with my hands at the helm, I reckon it could probably shorten it. So I'm, I'm happy to use this. I'm going to leave it on my Compute Module 5 unless I need to take it out to test something that's very, very slim. And it says here, we use regular connectors to get between 500 and 1,000 insertions. But we do have alignment location pins to ensure the boards go on straight. And I'm pleased to say that it's working in here with my Compute Module 5 running my version of RetroPie. And as you can see, it's all showing up. And if I was to launch a game, I've got Spider-Man on here. Gotta see if anyone's tracking you. Yeah, that's working. It's a little slow, but I haven't played around with the settings yet. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.